good morning. As you can see, I'm about to cast out. I've done so right now. Setting the rod up in position. I've got a football tracksuit on, a TNS one to be precise. What am I doing? Fishing, wearing a football tracksuit. Well, I'm on my way to Park Hall, the home of the New Saints, the Welsh Premier League champions, and I pass over the Montgomery Canal on the way, and it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? So I drop down, park the car just up there. It's important that I can see it, because I've got lots of gear in there, electrical gear, iPads, etc., etc., radio equipment, all that sort of thing, often on view in my car. So I'm not necessarily in the best spot. There are other places here that I've got more chance of catching fish from, but the most important thing is I've got a bait in the water. And as long as that's the case, well, I've got a chance, haven't I? And by the way, it's my birthday today. I'm 55. And what do you do on your birthday? Well, what I do most of the days of the year, I go fishing. Let's see if I can catch a birthday perch. As you can see, back at the car now, didn't catch anything. Mind you, I was only there for half an hour, but it's half an hour that I wouldn't have had if it wasn't for my mini telescopic rod and reel. And I'll be showing you that in more detail later on in the video. So stick around, but for now, I'm off to Park Hall. We've got BBC Sport there this morning, plus I've got some filming to do as well. So a busy day ahead. I'd better get on my way, otherwise I'll be getting the sack. I had a brilliant day at Park Hall. Lots of interviews, upcoming project. So I was doing players and staff for that. Plus we had BBC Sport with us as well. Other things going on. Anyway, I'm back home out on the canal, not letting the grass grow under my feet today. It's still my birthday and I'm hoping to catch a birthday fish. I'm on the canal, but a different one this time round. I've just cast out. I've got about an hour and a half this time up to dark. So do you know what? I'm very confident this time round. First fish, it's not big at all, but do you know what it means? It means I'm not a blanker and there it is. A tiny, tiny gudgeon. Very small, but very welcome indeed. And the second fish on my birthday is one of my favourites. It's not the perch, which is my favourite. A very close second though, the rough. Look at that. When you catch them, they often puff their gills out. They try to look intimidating quite prehistoric in many ways aren't they but i'll tell you what they're fantastic little fish if you're not an angler and you're looking at this video now thinking why is he getting excited about such a tiny tiny little fish well they don't grow very big so four five ounces you're looking at the british record so that actually in percentage terms is quite a decent fish i'm having great fun here i'm getting a bite every cast like I've got now and occasionally I'm getting a fish on well actually more than occasionally but of course you don't land everyone do you but this one is about to make it onto the bank and it's my first perch of the evening I've had that one rough I've had numerous good you know I've actually lost count I need to try and work out how many I've had because I am keeping a, a list this year of fish but that's the third species on my birthday to make the bank so far. Great, aren't they? Even when they're small, they're still fantastic fish. Anyway, let's get this one back. The tip just pulled round, or actually the rod pulled round. And as you can hear, ooh, and, uh, you can't see of course, but this, I am absolutely 100% sure is a chub. I can tell the way it's gone into the near side overhanging in brambles. Hopefully I'll be able to get it out though. This time of the year, lots of overhanging stuff on the canal. Yeah, here it is in open water. It's, it's got to be a chub. I'm going to get my net down ready to, to bring it out. Oh, there you go. oh, it's a nice, it's a nice fish. 
And on this gear, I'll tell you something, it's fantastic. Oh, come on, I hope I can land this. Size 18 hook, there you go. In the net, I'm going to show you this in a moment or two. If I was fishing with six pound, eight pound line, it wouldn't be such a good fish. But caught on the gear that I'm with, well, I'll tell you something, I'm very, very happy with that one. Fourth fish as well on my birthday, or fourth species, should I say. And there it is, fantastic fight on that little telescopic rod and reel setup. Brilliant. The gudgeon keep coming, but I've just caught my second rough of the evening. Fantastic little fish, aren't they? And that one is going back right now. You can tell that we're into dusk now because the rough are certainly coming on the feed and that's the third one of the evening. Another superb little fish. Certainly not a monster, but the biggest perch of the session so far. And right at the death, the fifth species, a tiny, tiny little roach. I'll tell you something, I've had a fantastic evening on the canal. It's been enjoyable and that is what angling is all about. As promised earlier in the video, here's my setup. I'm back home now, of course, in my tackle room. It's called a poacher's pocket. And as you can see, I've got a Velcro band on there and that keeps it all made up and ready to go. So the poacher's pocket is a telescopic rod. It does go right the way down to about nine inches, which is absolutely perfect if you want to keep it somewhere out of sight. Although just at this length, you can still put this in your boot, no problem at all. And the reel is a mini reel and that's nice because there's a, a balanced approach to the tackle. I've got standard line on there four, five, six pound, depending on what I'm going to be fishing for. But on this occasion, I've got two and a half pound fluorocarbon. I've got a third of an ounce lead, a small bead, a small shot, right the way through to a size 18 Drennan super specialist hook. I'm fishing with a single red maggot this week. That's the setup. That can be enabled within 10 seconds of getting down on the water's edge. That's how long it takes to get the band off, the rod ready, the maggot on and out there in the water. Excellent. This for me has been the passport to a lot more angling sessions than I would have had otherwise.